I'm betting on my staff. And if I have a well-rested staff, my student achievement will go up. One local school district is adopting a new schedule aiming to address an issue affecting schools nationwide. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. A four day school week. It sounds like a dream come true for students, but leaders at a local district, they're saying this is not a free day. The move comes as North College Hill is working to fix a problem school districts are seeing across the nation. Teacher burnout. Local 12's Courtney Wheaton live in our studio and Courtney you sat down with the superintendent to find out how it works to solve this crisis in the classroom. Yeah, guys, it seems pretty innovative. Kids will go to school Tuesday through Friday. Monday will be used as a review day for students and a day for teachers to prepare. North College Hill Superintendent Eugene Blaylock Jr. says the idea of a four day school week was born out of concern for teachers in his district. Staffing was a, a huge issue for us and what we found is we couldn't find substitute teachers. So we had individuals who were missing their plan bills because they had to cover other classes. Let me look that up real quick. Mm -hmm. This new approach would allow teachers like intervention specialist Elizabeth Daly to come into school without students on Mondays to focus on planning and collaborating with fellow educators. There's a lot of paperwork behind my job, so I'll be able to hold those meetings not during days where I have students, so it doesn't take away from their education time because I have to leave to go to a meeting. So I'm really excited about that. I'll be able to focus more of my attention on my students when they're here because I'll have an entire day to get rid of all that other stuff. The one thing that came to mind is the parents. What about barriers, the childcare? It's the Monday where they're working. We'll have limited support for K through eight. And remember, this is a work day for everyone. So our paraprofessionals who work you know, work closely with the teachers, they will be able to help supervise those students, those students who come into the building. And the superintendent hopes local businesses like All Star Sports and Italian Net will provide internship opportunities for the older kids for the days they're not in school so they can learn hands-on training. Blaylock has high hopes for this new approach. He says it's approved by the Ohio Department of Education and will be monitored in the next three years. I'm betting on my staff, and if I have a well-rested staff, my student achievement will go up. Has this been done before? Well, actually, North College Hill will be the first district in Ohio and maybe the entire Midwest to try this. This whole program really started in the West, so it's going to be really exciting to see the progress and how it works out here. And it starts in the fall, correct? In the fall, yes, August. All right, thank you, Courtney. <laughs> well, the superintendent tells us that he had a meeting with the leader in another local school district today who was also eyeing this approach to help with staffing and retention. We also reached out to Cincinnati Public Schools who say that this is not a consideration for them at this point.